Hello everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Endurance Run Part 2. We've made it this far and I haven't wanted to quit yet. Uh, I didn't really make it clear last time, I don't think, but the idea behind this is that if I get really annoyed and I can't go on with the game, I, I, I'm allowed to quit and stop. Um, and that sounds like a fun time. So we're in level 3, so this is the third dungeon of the game. That's the cool thing about the original, is you can do them in any order. And, uh, ooh, key already, excellent stuff. So yeah, you can do them in any order, similar to what was happening in, obviously, Link Between Worlds, in the second half of that game anyway. Actually, the first half of that game, you can do the uh, second and third dungeon in whatever order you want, so a little bit of choice there. But this one, uh, yeah, you can pretty much go anywhere, because the map, the entire map is open to you. I don't think they gate progress through items. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm trying to kill everything in this room, I just want to get some practice in at my sword hits, because I know I'm going to be needing them quite significantly. Oh my god. Throughout the game to be any good. So, there we go. A room cleared out. I'm doing well. Okay. Oh my god. Can I enter the door? I don't know. Is it possible? Maybe. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. Ugh. Right, so what have I got? I've got a key. That's great. That means I, I can open a locked door. Let's oh, skate through here. Dude, so well. So far, so good. Shit. I've heard of these guys. These guys are pains in the ass because you can't hit them from the front because their shields block you. Oh my god. So I'm playing on an Xbox 360 controller hooked up to my PC, which is... It's not the best D-pad in the world. I feel like it works for stuff like Super Meat Boy and that kind of thing, but comes to Zelda. Oh, jeez, what you need? Oh my god. Shit. That guy do a whole heart of damage to me. If I get hit once more, then I'm dead, but I'll have to restart the dungeon. It's okay. Fuck. Okay. Well, maybe we shouldn't be attacking those guys. Uh, that might be a smart plan. Okay, let's continue. Let's keep this going. We're scoping it out. We're learning. We're learning. We're getting there. I don't know how far I'll make it into into Zelda. If I will get to the end, if I get to the end, that's a success. But I'm not sure that I will, because it's really hard. Um, man, it's so much nicer when you have the sword laser beams. God, it makes everything really, really easy. Problem is, you get hit once, and bada bing, bada boom. See, because like I can stand here and like hit these guys from afar, as long as I have the right angle on them. What did I just say to myself? I'm not going to attack them. But I need to attack them to get my strategies down. Fuck. Okay, so they... So, okay, let's... We're figuring things out. They take off one heart of health. Right, I'm going to continue on. Let's... More exploring. More exploring. Okay, so I have one key. Which way do I go? I'm going to take the right door. Okay, what does this lead me to? Okay. Ooh, ooh, a thing. Ooh, I think that's the map. Yes, that was a good plan. Good job, Zed. Well done. You now have the map. That was a good choice I made. Now I can see exactly where everything is. It, the dungeon map looks like a Nazi symbol. So that is not fun. Ah! Okay. Okay. Oh, die. Ooh, nice. Yes. Got this. Got this. I think on emulation, this game is a bit smoother. Definitely, like, the frame rate and everything works way better. Uh, but, um... It... Ooh, jeez. It's still has that level of difficulty that classic Zelda games are known to have. Oh, fuck. The nice thing about the enemy AI here is they're not very smart, so they're just gonna kind of wander around, like, no matter where you are, they're not gonna chase after you. But they are going to... Oh, jeez. Ugh. They are gonna be really, really hard to get in and kill because the hitboxes are so small. Alright, let's keep going. Knock on our head against this level 3 wall. I may at some point decide this is too hard and try and find another dungeon. Uh, it took me a whole video, it took me 10 minutes to find one, so god, I don't know. Oh no, oh, now I'm dying again. Ah, oh, that was useless waste of health, Zed. Stupid, stupid, stupid idea. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that room. Mm. You know what, maybe I should explore a little bit in further directions, because we have the map already. So we're set there. Let's just go in different places and see. Ooh, the compass! Nice! Awesome. So now we can see where we uh, can get, like, the 
weapon, d the dungeon, the, yeah, the weapon of the dungeon, if there is one. I would really like that music to go away. But I'd prefer if I didn't die in the process. So a lot of the stuff in the dungeons involves really large rooms of just full of enemies and also pushing blocks. It was very basic puzzle solving back in the day. Uh, nothing, nothing that made a lot of sense like environmentally. It was a lot of trial and error, I feel. Oh my god, bombs. How do I get those bombs? Shit. <sighs> See, so like randomly some of these blocks are going to be pushable. But I don't think any of these ones are from this site. Like, you can only push blocks from certain directions. And I'm pretty sure that I can't push any of these. So to get around there, I need to go into another room. Ah, oh, but that one's locked. Son of a bitch, I don't have another key. Do I? Fuck. Okay, so we need to find another key. That's our next mission. Find another key. Okay. Probably gonna die again soon. That's fine. Perfectly okay. At least we get oh, rid of that stupid ringing sound. Okay, oh. Oh. Mm. Okay, back here. Back here. Can I do it? These guys take... Okay, I'm, I need to count how many hits they do. We need to do some research here. Fuck. Well, there goes my research. <laughs> ah. Alright. That's fine. A death is a death. This game's hard as fucking balls. I'm taking it in my stride. I'm not angry yet. So there's some progress, at least. By the end of this, both you and I, viewer, will know the inside and out of The Legend of Zelda. And doesn't that make us better human beings? Doesn't that just make ourselves much more intelligent, well-rounded people? Oh, fuck. No, it doesn't. Stupid globs. It's worth a try. It's worth a try. Okay, let's make our way back there. I'm s persistent. I'm being persistent here. Gotta be smart. Look at that, look at that. Ugh, beautiful. Right, now we're back here. Let's focus. So from the sides... Okay. From the side. One, two. Okay. Oh, fuck. Three. Okay. Ah, four, four, four. It's only four hits. That's not too bad. So these red guys are four hits. But obviously, to open that closed door, I need to defeat all of them in the room. And that, my friends, is easier said than done. Can we just... Oh my god. Ah! Okay. <laughs> nope. Not getting angry. Not getting angry. I'm not getting angry. No. Alright. Let's go again. Let's do it again. I'm just gonna keep doing this and keep doing this. Isn't there a thing where... Okay. This might be a random thing unlocking here if I push a block here. Mm. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, great. Just kill me. It's fine. Just kill me. It's all research. It's all about trying to find out what the hell's going on. Okay. Uh, right. Next time on The Legend of Zelda, we continue into this horrible dungeon that is ruining my life. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I guess I'll see you next time on the Endurance Run with Legend of Zelda. Goodbye.